for ages. destroyed and on top we built the cathedral but we kept the minaret the minaret is the part up to the bells where you notice all the arabic decoration that is 12th century later on in the 16th century we added the top part which is the christian part of the tower renaissance so you see on one same tower we are seeing two different styles and why is the tower called Giralda? Because of the weather vane on top. You see a lady? She's very heavy. She weighs about 1,200 kilos. 1,200. She's made in bronze. The verb girar in Spanish means to turn. So from girar, giralda, that's the origin of the name of this tower. And she symbolizes symbolizes Christian faith, looking at all directions. That's the idea. Where are we going now? This is And as I said, all this used to be the Jewish quarter. Now it's a shame to say, but here in the city, nothing remains from the Jewish uh, community. This was a city that in the year 1391, 100 years before the Inquisition, it took place a big persecution against them. We think that around the 1300s, in the city of Seville, there was approximately 400, 500 Jewish families living. So that means that the population was around 2,000 approximately. When this big persecution took place at the end of the 14th century, most of them, they, they left, and only 40 or 50 families uh, stayed. And then, as you know, with the Inquisition, at the end of the 15th century, uh, they were expelled from this um, country. The first tribunal of the Inquisition was here in Seville in 1482 with the Inquisidor Torquemada. Uh, usually, the Jewish quarter is next to the royal palace. Remember that next by is the Alcazar. And why was this? Because the Jewish families, during a certain time, they were like protected by the royal families. You know, they had very important jobs, were famous doctor, philosopher. Many of them, as you know, were bankers, 
economist. So when the Jews were expelled from this country, that's one of the other reasons why the economy of this country started to come down. When it was the Jewish quarter, we also think that according with the documents, there was around 23 synagogues. None of them remains, but we do know the places where some of them were. We have, even have a song that talks about this um, plaza. And we used to have in this area what we call in Spanish Corrales de Comedia. You know these theaters in the open air in the 16th, 17th century? And there was one in this place. Thank <laughs> you.